All right, guys, welcome to yet another episode of Talk at Moments. Today is going to be a very special story that I will share with you guys right after I watch this clip. What? Nobody can tell me anything else. The woman or the main chick in this story must be her sister or her best friend. Because Prick made this woman turn into Spider Woman. She jumped, fly, stairs, fifth floor. This lady flew from the fifth floor down. I remember discussing this with my friends and I was like, oh my God, what's going on in the world? Like all these crazy videos about, you know, girls jumping out the window, guys hiding under the bed when, you know, the madam of the house or the or girl of the house arrives. For my non-Nigerian watchers, like the owner of the property, the main man or the main woman comes home. And I thought, oh my God, Toka, this has happened to you before. How did I forget? And I said to myself, I have to definitely gist you guys, my vlog community, that, ah, this has happened to me before. Slow down. I did not jump out of a five-story building apart meant no i didn't do that but let me tell you guys the story so many 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 years ago when facebook was the only popping social media app i met this guy on facebook i was single he was single he used to you know leave cute comments on my post my long post on my pictures he would slide into my inbox and we started talking he lived out of town i think he lived in london i was based in lagos then you know so we'll just always talk he always used to just keep in touch and i remember him saying to me how he was single and he wanted to start dating me and i thought I wouldn't meet somebody on the internet and date the person without seeing the person for the first time. So I was like, mm, let's kind of slow it down. Let's just try and get to know each other. And this guy was applying pressure. When I say pressure, before I signed into Facebook, it's already a message. Hey, beautiful. Hey, lovely. Hey, this. Hey, that. In my head, I thought, okay, it was good looking in the photos. A single guy doing well. Why not? And then he now said the golden words. I'm coming to Lagos. I thought, yay! Finally, I get to meet this mystery man. Continue. In my head, I was single. And I thought, okay, if we get along as we got along on Facebook, then this is probably my next relationship. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I tell you what I saw in this situation. Mm. This man, what on me, this side chicken man, as in a whole me, TM, me. I mean, wait, 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 don't jump first, calm down. So many of you are waiting. So that's how this guy arrived in Lagos. You know, it took like two days before he contacted me, but I thought, okay, he was just probably trying to, you know, settle down, find himself. We didn't have each other on our telephones, which was weird. We only contacted each other via Facebook. That should have been a red flag, right? Now, so he starts messaging me. He's like, oh, I totally have to see you. Let's go to dinner. Let's go to this. Me, I'm still trying to play hard to get. Like, okay, let me let him ask like twice. Because back then, who made all these fucking dumb ass stupid rules that we all used to keep? So finally, on a Sunday, I'm like, okay, cool. We can go to, to lunch. I wore my best baths, guys. Did my makeup myself, you know. This guy picked me up from home. Had the right music playing in the car. Took me to a fancy restaurant in VI highbrow restaurants back then. You know, he was cool dressed nice i was like okay okay the god of heavens have finally sent me a boyfriend from nowhere facebook wow and then after lunch he's like oh let's go by my place what are you doing let's just go chill of course i was single he was single there's no problem we can go do you understand then he stayed in, he stayed in a guest house back then i remember in vi and then we went back to this guy's guest house it was a really lovely place um, I think it was about two beds. I can't remember, but he, I was in the living area. He was in the bedroom. And then he called me and said, oh, come hang out in the bedroom. Like, let's just chill. Me, I was, I mean, at the end of the day, we're both single, right? So we're getting to know each other. I was like, okay, let's see. Let's see this BDE. Let's see where it's going to take us to. Let's see what you got going on. And I was lying, sitting on the bed. He was sitting on the couch. I just there here. <laughs> oh, booty is not right now. Bastard. This is it. Ah. I say, is my ear pain in me? Is there somebody knocking on your door? The guy's like, really? I said, yeah, there's somebody at the door. I'm calling you, you're not picking up the phone. Back, 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 reverse. At lunch, every time his phone will ring, you put it on silence. But I mean, this is first time I'm meeting a guy. I can't say please who is calling us now because this is the first time. As a baby, you have to act chilled. This no, the noise got better. Be, open the door. I will fuck you up. Who the fuck is she? I will kill her. Yes, da, 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 da. Next thing. This guy pulls out his phone, then puts it to the side. I kid you guys, no, this was like a Yoruba movie. He starts to pant. I'm like, are you okay? He says, no, you have to enter the cupboard. You have to... Chai! <laughs> this guy! <laughs> Open the cupboard, I don't need me! 
to enter the cupboard. We do just keep quiet. Friend, she's crazy. She'll kill you. She'll do. Ha! Ha! All sense of reasoning jumped out of my head. I thought, ha! She's like, bastard! Who is the hoe? Who is the bitch? Come out and I was calling his name. I will fuck you up. You don't know who you're dealing with. I will fucking kill you. I will fucking kill her. Ah! I said, they meet you, da. A fighter. Gangster. <laughs> See my face. They will scare me. For a guy that is not even my boyfriend. He! I look at the cupboard. Look at the guy. I said, you must not be serious. I can't enter the cupboard. If I enter the cupboard, I become an accomplice. If this girl enters this place and goes straight to that cupboard and opens the door and she sees me, she will rush me. She will beat me up. It won't be a story of who are you. At least if she sees me on the bed, I can be like, sorry, I did not know you had a boyfriend. <laughs> Girlfriend, get your, as in, get your man. Fight him, kill him. Don't do anything to me because I am innocent here. I met him on Facebook. I would spill sp sp like a songbird. Met him on Facebook. He's been chasing me for three months. Please, 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 please. I don't want to be scared over somebody. So that he said, bastard, fucking open the door. I will kill you after everything I've been through. You want to fuck with me? Blah, 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 blah. But boy, you're there, but I've never seen a guy shake like jellyfish before in my life. And I said, ah, you have to go and put your dog on a leash show. Ah, no, 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 no. It can't happen. He goes, chill, chill, chill. He's calling some of his friends. Bio, where are you? And you don't believe that this guy said that. Please come, please come. Ha. You know how, even when I'm not guilty, I start feeling dirty. You're telling your boys that, yeah, I'm with a babe and she showed up. I'm with a babe. I say, me, I've not become I'm with a babe and she showed up. I just said to the guy, no, you have to go out. Even though I'm going to go out, one of us has to go. He goes, no, 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 chill. No, no, chill. What's wrong with you? Calm down. Talking to me anyhow. Hey. I said, shoo! No, 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 you have to go out now. As soon as I pushed the guy out of the bedroom door, I locked it. Wait, you and this your Buku girlfriend. Kill yourself there. Please, I'm not involved in this madness. Kill your mother fucking self there. Then he's, he's talking to the girl and calm down. Why are you tripping? I've been sleeping. There's nobody here. She goes, open the door. I'm not going to open the door until you're calm. I'm not gonna, I love you. Calm down. I was here in this fucking bastard motherfucker telling this babe that he loves her. Ha! I'm a gemmy, oh. I say, hey. I just kept quiet. I had already called on my sister that you people, I don't enter them today. I'm somewhere where they might beat me up. Oh. And with this guy, this is the address, this is this. I remember calling a friend of mine, my guy friend, God bless him. If he watches this video, he will know. He now said, I'm coming. Just stay put. Don't come out of that room. Just stay where you are. I'm coming. Luckily for me, I think that because it was a guest house, clearly all the other people, they had been worried that who is this person making noise. They had called management. Management now came. Oh, more they carried this babe. When I just heard silence, I opened the door. Guys, she had already put a dent in the door. Her shoes bows. That door was the savior. That, that door was so strong, girl, that she didn't get through that door. If not, I have one stupid mark today. When they ask me, how did you get this mark? What would I say? Eh? I went on a date. The guy now told me to side chick. Ah! I can never forget that story. If you are watching this video, I hope both of you ended up together. I really hope you did because those two, they were crazy. Anybody that, the girl said she's going to fuck me up. Why do females focus on the other female? Okay, hello, sister. No, be me find your trouble. I was just sitting in my own lane, no. I was so ashamed. Even when I was walking out of that room, the whole hotel people, they were looking at me. I felt so dirty. I felt like they had caught me stealing somebody's meat in the pot. I was just like, they were even trying to evict the guy. You will not even believe the bastard of the guy. After they had carried the girl outside, some of his friends arrived. The guy now came to meet me. Yo, please, can I talk to you? I said, eh? <laughs> talk to who? I carried my shoes, ran to my friend's car, entered. I said, who? That, I deblocked him on Facebook. I don't even remember the guy's name that bad, but this happened to me. I just thought to share with you guys. Ladies, be careful, oh. It's not everybody that is normal, oh. Some of these girls, they fight you too. I can't fight over a guy. I can never fight over a guy. It's not that deep. But does it mean that the next Jezebel is not going to tell you something? Or the girl, the man open cupboard, you guys. He stood beside the cupboard and said, You have to enter. You have to go in now. I said, oh, What's going on? Ah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope I've been able to crack you guys up. Yeah, it wasn't funny back then, but I can laugh about it now. Uh, guess what? Nigga, if you're watching this, I'm a fucking, fucking star. I guess your bitch ain't a star, okay? Thank God I don't even let her scam me that day because you now spoil my fine and I hope you've changed. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter. I am at Turkey Star with a double R. Goodbye. Bye.